Welcome back, we're the Renfros and we're sharing with you our Advent tradition as we get close to Christmas. Today is actually Wednesday of the fourth week of Advent. Lori, would you like to do the honors? Would you like to do the honors of reading our scripture reading? Yes. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day. And that's from Malachi, Malachi 3. Very good. All right. What does lo mean? L-O. Like, behold? I think so. It's kind of an expression of surprise and you know pay attention to what I'm gonna say so who was Elijah <laughs> and uh, that's correct a prophet and he was one of the ones that was bodily assumed into heaven mm. like Mary in the New Testament Jesus refers to whom as the new Elijah um. His cousin, who was about six months older than him. John who, the very good, very good. Because he was a messenger. He was announcing, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So, that's why this passage gets paired up with the gospel reading for today, which is from Luke, which tells about the birth of John the Baptist. Um, it's making that parallel that Jesus made between Elijah being this messenger and John the Baptist. Um, talking about the day of the Lord when he comes. This comes to us from the chapter of the Old Testament script, scripture telling us about the messenger of the covenant. Elijah was bodily assumed into heaven. There is no grave for him in this world. And it was prophesied that he would return as this messenger. But Jesus revealed that Elijah's return was fulfilled by St. John the Baptist. Today's Gospel reading comes to us from Luke 1, the part about John being born. So it pairs very nicely with this passage from Malachi. And it means that Christmas is almost here. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, very good. Would you like to do the honors? Oh. oh, that was a good one. I was about to help out. Very good. There's a lot of smoke now. Happy Advent. And come, come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus.